had a conversation. Okay, here's here's the difference. I want to explain this. I hear it misrepresented on everybody's channel. Yeah, I left the sides my normal color, and then I bleached, except some of the bleach just fell right there. So now, yeah, that line, whatever. I'm not going to go Virgo on it. Anyhow, okay, so what is an empath versus a clairsentient in the psychic world? Because everybody on YouTube now is an empath. Everybody who in any direction. They're like, I'm empathic. I'm an empath. I'm this, I'm that. Empathy is a terminology we use for people when we have concern for their situation, even if it doesn't affect us personally. So like if you break your leg and we find you on the road with a breaking leg, broken leg, we have empathy for you. We understand that that would hurt. We offer to help you. Um, we do whatever we can do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, an empath Okay, an empath is quite different than a clairsentient. Clairsentient is a psychic term used for people that feel other people's energy. Now, I think most people when they say they're an empath are really saying they're clairsentient. And here's the difference. A clairsentient person can walk through a house, a room, a situation, a reading, whatever, and they can feel the other people's emotions, feelings, circumstances, situations as they walk through a house, a mall, an environment, um, school class, a concert, and they can be brought down by that. Meaning if they go through a concert and everybody's fucked up and drunk, they can suddenly feel all those feelings. Oh my God, Jackie, thank you so much. Jackie just cracks me up. I'm like, does Jackie know why I'm here? Thank you so much, Jackie. Oh my God, time to bleach my hair again. I'm just kidding. It's going into not the bleach, okay? Anyhow, thank you for that. Um, okay, so clairsentient, when they walk through a room, a situation, an environment, a circumstance, they feel what's going on around them. So if they're in the mall and there's a bunch of a-holes in the mall that they walk by, let's say a group of teenagers and they're just like really all insecure and fucked up and you know, whatever, then the, the clairsentient person will walk through the mall and they'll be like, oh my God, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I have pimples. And the person may not have any of those things, but they start to feel like that. Now, they are able to go home and they're able to do things and they're able to um, go to sleep, sleep it off, feel better the next day, remove themselves and cleanse themselves by being by themselves and private. Now, here's what I'm going to say, and not everybody is a fucking empath, so we have to stop with this nonsense, okay? Empath, when they describe it, a person who is a true em empath has been born, okay, has been born to transmute the negative energy on an intuitive level or psychic level of those idiots around them. <laughs> the people in the environment. So a true empath is a energetic healer and there's very few of them, okay? What we're talking about when we say, you know, I went in the mall, I picked up the energy, I had to go home and sleep, I felt so fucked up, whatever, that is clairsentience, okay? So that's the difference, clear feeling versus, okay, versus empathic people who are born specifically to mirror, stand in front of people's shitty ass, stupid, obscene, absurd, Ugh. toxic, fucked up behavior, Fuckery. okay? And they are to absorb it and they are to send it back out transmuted. <laughs> so the empath, the true empath, empath, takes the energy internally, moves it through their own chakra system, and throws it back out in a higher vibration. The toxic person, the asshole, the, obscene, the absurd and the obscene, whatever, those people those step people. forward and the empath yes. stands solid and allows the toxic or in intrusive or abusive energy to come into their energy field and to transmute it back out while well, that idiot has to watch them do it and elevate it. So there's a telepathic 
healing going on and their specific job on the planet is to do that. Um, let's see, is that why people rage? I, I just missed that. Um, so their specific job is to let a sense of knowing is clear cognizance. I'm going to get to that. You just beat me to that. Mm -hmm. So empathic people in the truest sense of the word are healers and they're using and transmuting the negative energies on the planet, meaning they are put into every single situation. They may grow up in a really messed up home. They may live in a neighborhood where there's, you know, stupid shit happening. They may find themselves in the middle of like three burglaries, <laughs> whatever. Okay. And they may go to jail to transmute the energy. It's not this thing that we see all the time on the internet where everybody's like, hi, I'm an empath. No, no, no. You're, if you are born a true empath, you are born with a specific goal. Okay. To transmute, heal people's negative energy okay so you are there to heal that negative energy what most people are referring to when they're referring to um you know being drained absorbing other people's energy doing all of these things they're talking about clairsentience or clear feeling to walk through the life feelings and emotions of another person the guy in the green mile yes I love that, except add a touch, add a touch to the guy in the green mile, excuse me, as I burp on camera, gross. Anyway, add, add a touch to that because he's what they call also a sin eater, okay? So that's even a different form of empathic healing. Most people, when they've been raised by idiot parents, they marry an idiot, whatever it is, right? Uh, when they do that, what they're dealing with is clairsentience and they are picking up on the feelings, absorbing it in order to get a read on it. But when you're an, a true empath, you are born for the specific person purpose of using your body as a healing instrument. Okay. A healing instrument. So you are not going to get off out of the path of idiots. Basically, I'm using the word idiot so that I don't trigger because I wanted to say cuss words, but that's what an empath is. And then when you take a character like John Coffey in the Green Mile, he is an extension of that even farther. He is a person who is what's called a sin eater, eating the sins of other people. Now I'm going to address that for a minute because you can't really take away other people's evil actions or behaviors. You cannot do that there's a karma to that for the person that owns it. So that's like, if I rob the bank, you go to jail for me. I don't think it actually works that way unless you're stupid enough to cop to the crime you didn't do, right? So, um, oh, there's Toronto. I saw Toronto. So um, when you're looking at em empathic people, when they talk, they're misusing the word. An empath is an actual physical instrument person for other people's healing by transmuting with every fiber of their being other people's shitty toxic alcoholic bank robbing cheating dumb energy evil so you will find empathic people in circumstances where they go to jail where they end up you know it, wherever homeless where they're prostitutes they have to be placed in society to elevate, elevate. Um, well, the empath is harnessing the energy through their chakra system and then pushing it back out into the world, the energy, okay, pushing it right back out. They're very, very similar. They're very similar, but the clairsentient doesn't transmute the energy. They absorb. That's the difference, okay? So people, people do that. The the empath is the healer. The healer puts the energy back out into the universe at a higher vibration. Psychics in and, in and of themselves die younger. Empaths die younger. Mediums die younger because all of us are using our body energy in a, 
uh, I, I hate to use the word higher frequency, but in a more revved up frequency. So it's vibrating differently. An empath is literally taking your shit and going like this in their body and then sucking it back out like that. That's what they're actually doing. So it's kind of interesting. Um, it's very interesting. It does. Yeah. It takes a toll on you spiritually. When I worked, when I was growing up with my kids, I couldn't get out of bed. I mean, literally for 20 plus years, I spent more time in bed. So I would work for three hours, sleep for three hours, work for three hours, sleep for three all day long till I was crazy. And about three years ago, I stopped seeing people in person unless, unless, they like unless they bug the shit out of me or they're my friends. <laughs> mm. Spiritual washing machine. Yeah, exactly. That's the difference. I get so sick of people going, I'm an empath. I'm an empath. No, you are a clairsentient picking up on the energy, absorbing other people's energy. You are not an empath. You may be, but you're probably not because everybody wants that label. So, you know, whatever. Uh, that's one thing. Now, the other psychic terminology, oh, my little video stopped y'all. My video after this, I'm uploading Babaloo, okay? Mm -hmm. That's right, Desi. Yes, I am. And no, Bobby, I didn't, Bobby on here, I didn't bring up his great great.